Hey everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft build tutorial. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Our past couple of builds have been purely for aesthetic, just building something that looks nice. Well today we're going to build something a little more practical, so let's get into it. And what's a good Minecraft farm that everybody's going to need to build eventually? That's right. Chickens. Basically what I've got behind me is a sugarcane farm on either side of a cow crusher. You're going to get all your paper, you're going to get all your leather for books and enchanting. Every Minecraft player is going to make one of these eventually, they're just not going to make it look this nice. But I felt for the sake of the video I might as well decorate it a little bit. So let's build this barn already. Here's the basic layout of the build without any of the redstone involved. In case you want to follow along, I'll leave that on screen for a second. And everything you're going to need for this build is right here in this chest. We start by going up by 5 and over by 5, placing a pillar on the 6th block. On the back we go over by 10, placing a pillar on the 11th block. Do that twice and then come around to the front and put 12 up on these front two. And there's going to be 8 blocks in between the tall pillars and the short pillars. We're going to be using similar blocks to the last build we did, the rustic farmhouse. They kind of go together, so we're going to make a match a little bit. And we're going to have a lot of strip jungle logs, a little bit of spruce wood, a little bit of dark oak wood, and some stone variants. Once we get the walls filled in, we're going to pop the center of them out for windows on every side, and then we're going to start on this roof shape. Next, we're going to come in by five, and on that six block, we're going to put a pillar so we can get the shape of our tower in place, and then we're just going to fill it in and start on this roof. This part of the roof is really simple, it's all just slabs going up in a pattern, nothing really special about that. The next part of the roof is going to be a little more difficult, but not too bad, you'll see. For the tower, we're going to do a nice bell-shaped roof. It's just stairs, whole blocks, and then upside down stairs on top, and just keep going until you get that nice shape you want.
And once we've got the roof and the walls filled in all the way, we're going to start detailing the build. We're going to use some dark oak stairs to round off all the corners. We're going to use some spruce buttons to add a little extra detail to the sides. And we're going to add some flower beds. You can actually ignore this window up top, we're going to tear it out and build something better anyway. Next we're going to come up here and we're going to build a little pulley system to move hay bales or chest of supplies up top to the storage area. I had built this little pallet of hay bales and supplies coming up top, but then I realized that it was way too big for that chain to support, so we dumbed it down a little bit to make a little more sense. And since all our cows are inside right now and they're not visible, we're going to give a little cow pen off to the side just for decoration, add a little theme to the area. I wanted to do some kind of fancy entrance right here, but sometimes you just need to know when to keep it simple. We're going to give the cow some food and water, we're going to texture the ground and the path around it, and then we're going to landscape a little bit and detail a little more, and that'll be the entire build complete.
There's a lot of things we could have did differently about this build, but I'm going to try to keep it simple to help get the point across that this is about trying to hide your farms. Don't leave your redstone farms just laying around looking bad. Put a nice shell around them. Put a building on top of it. Make your redstone look nice, guys. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the build, let me know about it in the comment section. Tell me what you think I should build next. And until next time, have a good night.